And although this ant name is a mouthful, you can fit thousands of them in your mouth. These larger granules is a telltale sign of Trachymermix septentrionalis. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now today, I'm excited because we're looking for one of my favorite species of ant in the world. Today, we're looking for a very cool cousin of the larger leaf cutter ant. Our target for today is Trachymermex septentrionalis. And although this ant name is a mouthful, you can fit thousands of them in your mouth because they are quite small. But what makes them unique and interesting is that they are in the tribe Atini, which is the same tribe as Atta. If you remember Atta cephalodes from Costa Rica are large fungus growing ants that cut leaves to feed the fungus. Trachymermex is really no different. They also have fungus gardens that they farm, making them some of the oldest farmers in world's history. So, Let's see if we can find some of these really cool and really unique ants, and let's see if we can get some really cool shots of them. So come on, we're gonna check around. I know they're in the area. Hopefully, they're active. Let's go. Are you going? Yes, we're going. Okay. Okay, fans. So, of course, due to my surprising intellect and intellectual prowess in finding insects, we have in fact located a colony. So let's take a look. It might seem unassuming at first, but this sloped little hill with these larger granules is a telltale sign of Trachymermex septentrionalis. There's two workers right here. Here's another one carrying something underneath these clover. Beautiful ants. Take a look at that. Here's another worker coming in. So this is actually a really good sized colony. This is a mound of theirs. This is a mound of theirs. This probably has about 50 to 100 workers, most of them under the surface tending the fungus garden. Here's actually the entrance to their nest right here. That tiny, tiny little hole is the access point. Here comes a worker. Oh, nope, she saw me. You can see those little workers running in, down in there. How cool. I bet we can find even more because according to my research, Trachymermex tend to nest all in the same general area. So we might just find a hefty colony. So let's keep looking. Very sandy over here. Weird. Luckily, Trachymermex loves sand and black clay. So we actually have both of these present. So sounds like a perfect scenario for Trachymermex subtentrianalis. I'm thinking, <sighs> I smell more in this direction. Another nest. They're quite inactive, but there are a few workers patrolling the entrance. Here's the discarded soil pellets. We are on the hunt for a larger colony. Another colony, equally as small and equally as unimpressive. Now the common name for these ants is the Northern Fungus Growing Ant. And this is a strange name, but it suits these ants perfectly because they range all the way from Texas up into the northeastern part of the United States. 
It's possible that this species is the most northern ranging of the fungus growing ants. colonies. Take a look at this one, guys. This is a pretty nice sized one. You can see there's actually maybe 30 or so workers out right now. This one's actually carrying some plant material, perhaps to bring to the fungus. You can see this little flower chunk. They're actually ripping that apart and taking that down. It's part of this same plant here that they've also discarded once they've used it. That's a lot of them. That's a good sized colony. Huh? Maybe I'll try and get some footage of these gals. All right, folks. <clears throat> Gotta really get in there and make sure I get a rash from all this grass. Okay, let's see where our beauties lie. Ah, uh, yes, excellent. You guys can come around and even take a sneak peek of what I'm getting. Oh, oops. Oh. I don't need that. I want it on here. Ah, oh, yes. See those little workers running around? Plenty of workers. So, Tracky Myrmex of Alice. Beautiful little fungus growing ant. They uh, create quite small fungus gardens in comparison to the other fungus growers. So things like Atta and Acromyrmex really dwarf these colonies and fungus gardens. Uh, their fungus garden of this species usually is about, I want to say, maybe eight inches by three inches by three inches. Whereas Atta and Acromyrmex can have quite extensive colonies with Atta being the largest. They can have colonies spanning 50 feet wide and they can go 25 plus feet down and have gallons and gallons and gallons worth of fungus growing at any given time. That was a lot of American units of measurement, so I'm sorry for my otherworldly watchers. Otherworldly makes me sound like I have aliens watching my channel. I hope so. If you're an alien, welcome. I hope you're learning as much as you can about this planet before you invade. Anyway, back to ants. These are such cool little ants. Oh, love them, love them, love them, love them. Now, what's additionally cool about these lovely little ants is that uh, being in the Atini tribe and in the genus Trachymermex, they lack stingers. Uh, so you don't have to worry about these lovely little ants. They are peaceful farmers. Look at them, they're farmers. And they just grow fungus, which is pretty neat and they feed on the fruiting bodies of this fungus. So it's this kind of fuzzy little crumply looking fungus and it secretes these little juices and, and lipids and stuff and the ants just <laughs> drink it right up. They love it. So it's an example of a symbiotic relationship of mutualism where two organisms actually directly benefit from each other. And what's even more interesting is that in almost any part of the world, these animals are found entirely together. You don't find these ants without the fungus and you rarely find the fungus without these ants. They need each other to survive. So it's a really cool kind of showcase of just how keyed in and tied in and dependent these two species are on each other. How cool is that? Now, just like their larger cousins, Trachymermex spends most of the time of the day excavating new chambers and new tunnels, as well as foraging for material 
to help grow and farm their fungus. Well, we found exactly what we were looking for. Tracking Myrmex septentrionalis. Say it with me, everyone. Tracky Myrmex septentrionalis. Septentrionalis. Quite a mouthful for a name, but remember, thousands in a mouthful for the species. So we had a fun time. We found lots of cool ants. We got some really cool footage on the new camera. And I'm hoping that you enjoyed this media event I call a YouTube video. So thank you all for watching. Comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Subscribe, buy my shirts, turn on notifications, whatever you're in the mood for. If you liked this video, I know. Um, but uh, other than that, thank you. And adieu. Until we meet again, my friends. I'm, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs>